Hi, for you dumpster diving aficionados, you might remember this one, but it's linked in up here somewhere and down below at the end if you haven't seen it, where I found this 27 inch iMac in the dumpster. And yes, it worked just fine. Had uh, 20 gigs of RAM in it. It's got a one terabyte 7200 drive. It's an Intel i5. It is pretty old. It's a decade old. It's uh, a mid 2010 model, uh, but it still works. It still runs the, uh, the High Sierra version of the Apple operating system, which is one of the uh, modern ones, and it actually works just fine. It's just a little bit slow, that's all, and that's due to the uh, mechanical, uh, even though it's 7200 mechanical hard drive in this thing. So I thought I'd do an upgrade of this and uh, install a, a, a mirrored uh, solid state drive. So anyway, um, a real sexy bit of kit, all alloy case, even though I'm not an Apple fanboy, you've got to admire, I mean, that is sex on a stick, really. I mean, it's and it weighs an absolute ton. Um, absolutely incredible. Anyway, um, there are some, uh, there's a memory uh, slot down the bottom, but apart from that, that's really the only way to get into this thing without taking off the screen. But unlike modern um, apples, which are all like stuck together or whatever, but unlike some of the modern um, apples, this one is uh, designed to get in relatively easily. Apparently this entire front screen, I've never done this before, but apparently it's just held on with uh, some neodymium magnets. So we just get some suction cups on here and apparently you can just pull it off. That's the plan. Actually, I don't even know if I have two suction cups. I know I've got one. Not sure if I'm going to be able to do this with one, but I'll give it a go anyway. I uh, can't find my other one at the moment, so let's... Oh! Oh, heck! Wow! That's actually... That's actually really easy. There we go. Wow! That is... That is really nice. I mean, thumbs up to whoever came up with that design. That is just brilliant. Love it. That was easy, Only with only one suction cup. They even went to the design effort to put these pins in here, these four alignment pins. Uh, there's one down the bottom, is there? And a couple of uh, clips at the bottom. But anyway, someone hand looked at that, hand inspected, whatever. But uh, yeah, that's, that's very nice design. So apparently there's four screws down here, four screws down here, Torx jobs. And if we get those out, apparently... Oh, whoa. There you go. Now you get stuck on the magnets. So there we go. It's out. Now apparently it does come out. There we go. The whole panel will come out. And got to disconnect. There's something up here already that's stopping it coming out. The tiny little, ah, oh, it's stuck on my tape. Undo the tape and then I can. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, there's a bit of dust in here too. Wait until you see it. Big connector here. And a little itty bitty one there. And one over here. Bit annoying to try and do this while holding. I think it hinges out. There we go. I think I got... There you go. We're in like Flynn. Got them all. Now the interesting thing about this is that uh, it's no longer got the weight required to um, keep the, to stop this thing from pivoting. So I'm not sure that's actually fixable. Um, I think you've just got to, like, there it is. But it kind of, like, presents things nicely um, on an angle like that for servicing. So I guess you wouldn't want it vertical. But um, anyway, I, hang on. That... That is an, that's an exposed power supply. Uh, Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Wow, you could really come a gutter on that one. Um, yeah, that is. Yeah, 310 watts. Look at that. Power supply, 12 volts uh, to 25 amps. So what is there, two channels at 12 volts at 25 amps? Um, 310 watt power supply. So there you go. Um, don't accidentally... Uh, work on this with the power on um you could come a gutsa so there's our hard drive which we want to replace with our well it's not a soft drive it's a uh like a fiberglass and silicon drive i guess hmm and of course i won't pretend to know anything about apples but uh we've got a fan down here another fan over here there's a lot of dust in here 
So I'm going to uh, blow this out, give it a good blow job as a matter of course. And uh, there's our Wi Fi by the looks of it, uh, dual and yeah, dual diversity antenna by the looks of it. Um, and our main logic board is all down here. I'm not sure what that. Oh, that second. Oh, that's got to be the. Is that the video card? That one? Because it's got its own heatsink up here, like this. And it's a separate board. I don't know. Um, this does have. Um, is, is it uh, Radian graphics or something in it? Um, this actually does have a separate graphics card. It is uh, greater than HD. It is like a 2K screen or something. Can't remember the exact resolution of it, but it's pretty high for a 20. 7 inch job and uh, like I don't think I'll have a look down in some of the grills here but the grills don't seem to have dust in them um, but I'm not sure I'll just I'll like blow the whole thing out anyway but uh, yeah I'm not going to go to all the effort to like because it, it thermally it just runs fine at the moment it runs silent um, the fans you know like you can't even hear them really it is pretty uh, silent machine so I guess there's not any uh, thermal issues so I'm not really going to worry about that at all so anyway is that there's a big funnel there is that a uh, is that for air is that for thermals anyway we've got our DVD writer over there um, got our SD card reader all the way over there anyway that is rather exciting so yeah I reckon that's the heatsink for the CPU under there and that's our heatsink for our graphics card, I would imagine. Or it could be vice versa, but I would imagine that would be a graphics card and the processor would be on the main board. That would be fairly obvious. There you go, I just took it out into the stairwell and gave it a good blowjob and uh, she's as good as new. Look at that, happy as Larry. And it's always interesting to note what type of screws that they use. The uh, screws for the hard drive are exactly the same as the ones that held in the uh, screen so yeah you know, it's always good design practice reduce your bill of materials of course um, you know standardize on screws and things like that I'm not sure if they're the same elsewhere but certainly the uh, hard drive ones are and there you go oh we've got oh that's got a oh I've never seen wires coming out of the jumper selector like that that's interesting. Why does anyone know why they've done that? Like the drive select? I I'd never seen like an active drive select. I don't think so anyway. Oh maybe old school way back in the day. What the? Um that is one of the antennas. What the heck? Uh I'd never seen anything like that before. Ah uh, wow. If you've got any details, uh, please leave it in the comments. Once again, I'm not a fruity Apple fanboy, so, you know, I don't take apart Macs and other things, and I, I don't know, maybe these are common, but anyway, I thought that was interesting. Oh, hang on, don't these, like, fruity Apple things have, like, Apple Airport or something in them? Is that the antenna for Airport? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, it's a Western Digital Caviar Black. Nice. Um, I don't need to replace it with one terabyte. Uh, it, it's only got like a, it's only using like a, I don't know, not even 100 gig or something. I'm going to replace it with a uh, 250 uh, gig solid state drive. So that'll be plenty. So the interesting thing is, is that, uh, yeah, I don't have a cage for that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> nothing you can't fix with some gaffer tape or something else. And the drive did actually have little rubber baby buggy bumper anti-vibration things down there. And the drive actually comes with uh, these little studs in there. So it's not screwed in on the bottom side. They look, that's kind of different. And rubber baby buggy bumper compliant on the top too. Oh, by the way, I did time it before booting up and it's as slow as a wet week, a minute 40 to boot up to the login prompt. I mean, yeah, i got to fix that. I just realized that it's probably not going to be easy to clone a one terabyte uh, Mac drive anyway onto a smaller 240 gig uh, solid state drive, at least using the Macrium uh, Reflex software that I use. So anyway, um, I think the easiest way might just be uh, to get an external uh, dry USB drive adapter and uh, use cloning software on the Mac. That's what a few places seem to recommend anyway. So. Do the cloning on here and then replace the drive. That might be easier.
There you go, the current internal hard drive is only using 79 gigs, so <laughs> yeah, plenty of room on 240, uh, no wackers, so I think you can use Dish Utility to make a backup copy, I think. Okay, so apparently what I can do is I've, uh, I don't know how to get rid of the external system reserved one, that just came over. Anyway, I formatted it with uh, Mac OS Extended Journal. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing, but apparently you can go restore like this and then restore from the Macintosh hard drive and that should... Oh, has failed. Uh, okay, wrong file system. I thought Mac would journal would be fine, but I don't know. Too big? Uh, too small? Aha! Uh -huh. Can only be done on GPT partition maps. Okay. Mm. Okay, I had uh, quite a few issues trying to get uh, this external solid state, uh, well, solid state drive work, but in terms of partitioning and stuff like that, really uh, tricky stuff. Like, I had to go up here, wouldn't work properly. I had to uh, repartition as the uh, GUID, but that wouldn't work until I went up here to view, um, because it by to, to view all external devices, and it was a real pain in the butt. But I was able, people helped me out on Twitter, I was able to finally get it to uh, reformat and uh, repartition as a Mac OS uh, journal a drive with GUID. Um, and now I'm using uh, Carbon Copy Cloner, hopefully, to um, create a boot disk. Um, people said, oh, you could use the Time Machine uh, thing and stuff like that. I tried to use Time Machine, to, oh, it was taken forever and stuff like that. I don't know, I'm going to try Carbon Copy, but, oh, jeez, yeah, it's, it's getting there. I do like how the Mac OS just... Uh, detects like Windows external disks, it detects Windows NTFS uh, drives and all sorts of stuff. It, it's actually, you know, it's pretty smooth. I still don't like the Mac interface, like the Mac GUI and everything else. I don't like the way they do things. I Maybe, you know, I'm just too used to Windows, I guess. But um, it's still, you know, support for other stuff is, seems quite good. Okay, that's done. I have absolutely no idea if that's bootable or not, but only one way to find out. Okay, let's find out. Something's happening. Come on. It's just a blank screen. Uh, that's not good. I expected to see a little spinny thing or something. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe it's that drive selection cable or maybe the disk just doesn't work. Oh, no, 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 there, no, there it is. No, it's just taking time. Oh, I'm going to have to retime this. Hang on. It took, before, it took a minute uh, 40. So I'm going to have to, I think this is, it's a little bit quicker. The thing is, it's quieter now. Whoa, we're in. In like Flynn. Worked. Well, it's still taking its time. 38 seconds. I'm not sure if that's, um, yeah. It took like 40 seconds before the Apple logo appeared. I don't know, please leave it in the comments if you got, like, if that drive selection thing is causing it to delay on boot up or something like that. But uh, it is, oh, yeah, yeah, it's like I saved a good 40 seconds or whatever. So, yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's much quicker. Okay, after cleaning the screen, I think it's done. Let's whack it back in and... Oh, there we go. Like I bought one, we have a... Hello, McFly, bloody screensaver. We have an upgraded solid state Mac. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And one thing I noticed when I opened up uh, this, uh, because it was just, it had been operational for quite uh, some time, and this hard drive was super hot. So, uh, not too hot to touch, but damn, it was like really hot in there. So not good for mechanical uh, drives. So I guess the thermals on this aren't uh, the greatest. So anyway, if you've got any idea, leave it in the comments. But uh, like, you know, it's, I can oh, I just hear the fan on now. It's very, very low, but oh geez. Yeah, <laughs> this thing was smoking.
There you go, that's better than a 10 year old bought one. Beauty. Um, it's quite remarkable how like a 10 year old, this is 10 years old now, but it's still a, a reasonably useful, uh, you know, general purpose computer and Macintosh, it's not going to scream along, it's not going to you know, edit your, vi render your videos quick and it's not going to do that sort of stuff, but just as, as a general large screen, large monitor, high resolution, you know, 27 inch, sort of like all in one uh, desktop computer, just for browsing and doing other general stuff, um, it's pretty darn good. And yeah, found in the dumpster. Now it's what well, it came with 20 gigs of RAM, which is plenty. I won't bother upgrading that. Um, that's just, the, as I showed, easy to access uh, down the bottom here. 20 gig is plenty. And now it's got a 240 gig uh, solid state drive in it. And it boots up, well, at least 40 seconds quicker. I'm still not, I'm still disappointed with how quickly it boots up. So if you've got any idea why it's uh, that slow, maybe it'll, I don't know, come good. I've got to do some updates there, ready to install and stuff like that. But yeah, that's terrific. Anyway, if you like that, give it a big thumbs up. And of course, check me out on my alternative platforms. I'm not just on the YouTubes. Catch you next time.